What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and today uh, we're going to the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair. Uh, it's a new event. I believe it's their first time and it's going to be massive. They've been promoting it heavily on Instagram. Uh, that's how I caught on to it. And they've got like, it's like over 150 stalls or something like that. It's massive. Uh, it's almost more like a convention rather than a comic and toy fair. I know there's going to be artists and creators there as well. Uh, so it's going to be a crazy, crazy day. And I have to give a quick shout out to the organizers of the event. It's Sarah's birthday weekend. So originally we weren't sure if we were going to go. Uh, but when they offered the media pass, uh, well, like we should probably take advantage of that. So uh, thank you to the guys who organized it. Um, I don't want to say his name because I... Probably will butcher it, uh, but big shout out uh, for the media pass. And you guys are probably wondering where I am. Uh, so it's Sarah's birthday weekend, so we've just, you know, had a romantic weekend getaway uh, in the Dandenong Ranges. Uh, so yeah, we've been having a lot of fun out here, uh, and it's an hour drive uh, to where the event's going to be. So uh, yeah, we're in for a bit of a road trip today. So uh, without further ado, let's do this. So here's me letting you guys know I made it safe and sound. Now the car park was chockers so I did have to park across the road and go for a walk but it's okay because I need the exercise. Now this line doesn't look huge but uh, this was the early bird line so you had to pre-book tickets and there were limited numbers to get in on the first hour. And the security there here was keeping me in check. Now the event was split across two rooms which is super cool. So. Here's a shot of the first room, mostly toys, collectibles, comics, and things like that. The second room had a lot more of everything, included, including artists and things. Uh, now, I was able to get in early uh, thanks to the media pass the guys gave me. Um, so I was able to get these shots before all the crowd started to pile in. So uh, I was very lucky for that. So here comes the first crowd. Look at them all, all these early birds. These are the real collectors. Love and life, because they get in first. And now I'll just let you enjoy some of the sights of the event. Now if anyone watching knows, what is the deal with these bear things? I know they're super popular, but I know nothing about them, but some of them go for a lot of money and yeah, I just don't know anything about them. So if you know, let me know. I bumped into this cool cat, Julian, from This Is Not A Toy Store. Uh, they're a super cool store. Uh, here they are here. They um, basically specialize in people who want to create their own toys. So if you know how to create toys, go see these guys because they might be able to sell it. Now they had these really cool figures. There's no retreat, no surrender figure. If I had money, I totally would have bought that. Um, I just couldn't afford it. Um, all these figures are kind of like one of a kind as well because they're created by artists. They're not multi-produced, sorry, mass-produced. So look at this cool mashup. Toy Wars with Woody in Carbonite. That's awesome. It was really cool to see this event support a lot of local artists. Now smaller events like this do have artists there, but I thought that this event had a healthy number, which is very cool to see. How's this for a blast from the past? Garbage Pale Kids. Here's some more comic books for all my comic book guys, but maybe you're into Pokemon cards. Well, boom, Pokemon cards. But maybe that's not your thing and you're into retro gaming. Well, boom, retro games. Don't say your boy Simple Simon doesn't look after you. Or maybe you're into Sanrio. Well, Sophie Collects Sanrio was there with all this Sanrio goodness. That's Hello Kitty for you people who don't know what Sanrio is. Check out this cool Batman Returns game. I've always wanted to collect stuff like that. Just game covers that have cool things on them. Now I was too busy filming to notice that cool alien egg there. That's super cool. 
I had to shoot this table because Trixie's creations here had all this cool stuff that they'd made just in time for Halloween. Here's some cute Pokemon ice creams I thought were pretty cool. Uh, now this dude here, I uh, had a really good chat to him. He shouted out Simple Simon, so I was like, hey, what's up? I spoke to him for a bit and we did buy something from him, which you'll see later in the video. So shout out to my boy at V Supply, I believe he was called. Hey, it's Billy, the man, the myth, the legend behind the Yarraville Comic and Toy Fair. Here's my buddy Tate Rochelle, but as always, I get to a table and no Tate. I always like to shout out Angel Grove Collectibles because Phil here is a really cool dude. Uh, I met him a while back at uh, Days of Future Pop Culture and I interviewed him once at Supernova back when I was skinny. Here's Samantha from Titchy Aussies. Now, she's about to turn around and laugh. With no audio, doesn't this look like an evil laugh? <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Hopefully you find that funny. Uh, Samantha makes really cool handmade accessories from bags to wallets to face masks. You name it, she'll make it. Here's Sean from Zars Comics and Collectibles. Now, pause it one sec. Check this out. Rewind back to the last five people I spoke about. So I first met Billy, along with Tate Rochelle, along with Phil from Angel Grove, along with Samantha from Titchy Aussies, all back in an event that Sean held called Days of Future Pop Culture, which is Sean's own event. I met all these people at that one event. And it's super cool to see after all these years, I mean, that event was pre-COVID. And after all these years, all of us are still doing our thing. Super cool. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Now, if you're thinking that this event looked kind of quiet, well, after 10 and 11 o'clock rolled around, so did the crowds and the place started to fill up. Uh, which obviously is really good to see. Here is the money shot with the second hall, or second room, sorry, um, with people everywhere just enjoying themselves and having a really good time. I had a really good time looking at these figures. Uh, they're Super 7 or Reaction figures. Uh, they had a lot of cool ones, especially this Lost Boys one. It had the hole punch and I was like, why is it upside down? And then I saw the title and realized, oh, it's because they sleep upside down. How cool is that? And this final bit of footage is for all you loose figure guys. Here's a box of loose figures, Star Wars goodness, and I'm gonna outro with a song. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. All right, so I'm back. So for the few hours that I was at the event today, I, I, I had a really good time. I wish I had more time uh, to spend there, but unfortunately I did have uh, some plans with Sarah. Obviously being the first uh, time holding this event, I think they did really well. I've been to a few events where it was the first time they were running a show and hasn't always, uh, I didn't meet its expectation, I guess, for, for the people who promote it. Um, I did end up speaking to Nyan, I think that's how you say his name, Nyan, who was the event organizer. Uh, he seemed pretty pleased with the day, so uh, well done to you, mate. Congratulations, I, I had a really good time. Bumped into a lot of familiar faces people have met over the years of doing uh, this, so uh, it was really good to see all the familiar faces. And obviously I spent a little bit of money. I didn't have a lot of money to spend today. So yeah, I'll show you what I picked up. First, I'll show you what Sarah picked up. Sarah only bought one thing really today for herself. This dude, uh, his name was V Supply Anime. Um, this dude actually called out to me. Um, he recognized me, he called me Simple Simon. So we had a bit of a chat. Uh, he sold a lot of Pokemon stuff and things like that anime related. Uh, and they had these mystery Eevee pens. Right, so I'm not going to get that good in the shot. Uh, so mystery pens, I've never seen that. I've seen mystery toys and whatever it be, mystery figures. Uh, but mystery pen, and they're all different Eevees and Eeveelutions. And Sarah really wanted um, Sylveon, because Sylveon is Sarah's favorite Pokemon. And oh my God, it was a Christmas miracle because she got Sylveon. Um, so that was cool, just a cheap little purchase there, four bucks for this pen. And yeah, Sarah collects, uh, uh, exclusively collects uh, Sylveon stuff. Uh, so that's what Sarah picked up. I didn't pick up a lot, I'll show you the boring stuff first. Uh, this was more of a practical purchase, um, you know, because most things I buy are more things that I want but don't need. This I actually need. <laughs> I bought some bags and boards 
Um, I can't remember the name. I think they were called Aussie Comic Co or something like that. I got footage of them in the video. Um, at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? If they've got current bags, I should probably buy some. So I uh, picked up some bags and boards and then I bought two comic books and a figurine. Uh, this is a Super 7 and they do a music range. I've actually got a Lemmy one, but this one I saw and I thought that was pretty cool. It's a Rancid figure, which is cool. Uh, I was a huge Rancid fan growing up. Uh, oh, look at that on the back. That's cool. Collect them all. Rancid, Gorilla Biscuits, and Agnostic Front. They actually had... I don't think I saw Gorilla Biscuits there. Uh, I definitely saw they had an uh, Agnostic Front. They had Misfits ones, Iron Maiden. They had all these really cool music ones. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the Rancid one because yeah, I was a huge Rancid fan when I was a bit younger. I'm still... I still like Rancid. Their new stuff's not great, but you know. Um, they've always got a place in my heart. And then I just bought two comic books. Um, the first one, nothing nothing special. Uh, the first one is uh, Batman Battle for the Cow. I wasn't sure if this was even real, this book. <laughs> this is, I believe, Jason Todd as Batman. So I'd seen this image before, but I wasn't actually sure if it was on a comic book or not. And I'd never seen it. Uh, and I know Mark from Big City Comics was chasing the action figure version of this Batman. But I, I always wanted this cover because obviously Jason Todd, Red Hood is my favorite uh, DC character. So him as Batman is pretty cool. Uh, so I picked that one up. And then this one, I believe is a Midtown exclusive. Uh, it is Batman issue 50. For those who really know me, you'll know I have a, uh, a Batman issue 50 has sentimental value to me. It was the first comic book I read. So I try to collect um, a lot of different variants from it. And this was an exclusive uh, and it's a beautiful Joe Disco cover uh, with Selena Kyle in her awesome looking wedding dress. Uh, so I saw that. I knew this is not the type of book that you normally would find down here, being that it's an exclusive. And for 20 bucks, I was like, yeah, I'm down to buy an exclusive book for 20 bucks. It's beautiful. Just go cover there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I had a really good day. So again, Nyan, congratulations, mate. A fantastic event. And thank you so much for, for the invite uh, to the event. The next event I've got planned is probably going to be the Yarraville Comic Fair uh, run by Billy, uh, who I also saw there today. I actually spoken to him and it's going to be the first time I'm going to set up a table and try to sell some of this crap that I own. Uh, so that should be a fun one. Um, I know I'm promoting uh, the collector's market, but this is the next event I'll be going to, which will be Yarraville Comic and Toy Fair. So if you guys are in the area, it's on Melbourne Cup Day, November the 7th. Uh, I'll hopefully be setting up a little stall there, selling some comic books and some of the toys that I guess that I don't need. Uh, so that'll be a fun one there. That'll probably be my next vlog. Uh, but if you guys are still watching this video, I appreciate you. Make sure you give the video a like, leave a comment, and check out my other videos if you're new to the channel. Uh, I'll leave a link to my toys and collectibles playlist uh, otherwise head to my homepage and check out all the stuff I got going on but yeah until next time I'm Simple Simon tell your friends and keep it simple